Hello, my name is Thiago Tempo and today I'm going to talk about the REST and spread operators in ES6. Let's start with REST. The way you use it is when we are receiving parameters in a function. So given we have a function called log, if we'd like to receive an undetermined number of parameters, we could use a REST operator. To do that, we add a parameter to the function and we prefix it with the REST operator, which is the three dots. The REST operator will transform that parameter into an array with all the elements passed to the function. So in this case, the parameter named parents is an array. Let me log it and call the function with some arguments and we'll see that working. Now, you might ask yourself, why is this a big deal? We had the arguments keyword before in ES5 and that did the same thing. Well, not exactly the same thing. First, for those who didn't know, if I call the same function and I remove the parents parameter and I change the console.log to log arguments instead of parents, the function will still work. And that's because internally JavaScript creates a variable called arguments with all the arguments passed to the function. Now let's improve the log function a little bit. Let's say we want the function to have a first argument, which will receive some text that we'll be using to explain what we are logging. So I can add a message argument and log it before logging all other arguments passed to the function. That works, but as you can see, the message is logged twice and that's because all the arguments passed to the function are in the arguments variable. And what if we use the REST operator? Now let's do that. First, I'm going to add a second argument called parents to the function. And I'm going to use the spread operator and then I'm going to log it. See the difference? The first argument was assigned to the message variable and only the remaining arguments were assigned to the parents variable. That's already better. I also think that this is more clear for the person consuming this function. One could read the signature of the function and immediately identify that this is a function which expects a message as a first parameter and an indeterminate number of parameters after that. We don't have to read the function to know that this is expecting any number of arguments through the arguments keyword. The rest argument is also optional. If we don't pass any value to it, an empty array will be assigned to it. Oh yeah, and that's important too. Rest arguments are real arrays. If we try to access one array method, like join for instance, it will work. That's another difference from the ES5 when using arguments. The arguments variable is not actually an array, it's an array-like object. We can see that when we try to access the array method join from the arguments. Now, to use the REST operator, we have to follow a few simple rules. First, we cannot have more than one REST operator per function. That's evident because there would be no way to know where the values of one argument ends and the other one starts. And second, the rest argument must be the last one of the function, for the same reason. Now let's move on to the spread operator. The spread operator does the same thing but in a reverse way. I think the simplest way to understand it is through an example. Let's say we have an array of numbers and we want to find the lowest value inside that array. Now JavaScript has the object math and from this object we can call the function mean. We can pass an arbitrary number of arguments to the mean function. The function then will, well, return the lowest value passed by as an argument. But the mean function does not accept an array as an argument. So what what can we do? Well, we can use the spread operator. The spread operator will turn each element of the array into an individual argument to the function. Now let's see another example. Say for instance that we have a function which expects two arguments, and we have all arguments needed inside an array. 
we can pass that array with the spread operator to the function. It doesn't matter that the array has more than two elements, if the first two are the elements that we want to pass to the function, and that's of course because of the nature of JavaScript that ignores the exceeding parameters. Finally, another usage of spread is to concatenate arrays. Let's still use the array of numbers as an example, and say we want to create a new one, let's call it values. We could add the elements in the order we'd like and then spread the numbers array in the exact position we'd like it to. The result is a new array with all the new elements and the elements from the numbers array. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.